Welcome back to uh, ET Media. Again, I'm Will Henry with One Solution Group. We're here at our facility in Manhattan, Kansas today. And with me, I've got Jordan Marlboro. He's gonna be helping us out. He's one of our lead extruder technicians. Uh, today, we're gonna go through uh, process calibrations, specifically um, loss and weight calibration. Um, and someone might ask, why is that a critical step in the process? Someone might ask. Why is it a critical step in the process? Well, Very good question, Jordan. So within the extrusion system, the, the loss and weight is the most critical component that we have to worry about. Everything that we do within extrusion and even downstream at drying, coating, and cooling is based upon our dry feed rate. So we need to ensure that uh, we're running accurately and precisely at the rates that we want. For us here at our facility, this is a weekly occurrence and we deal with a, a wide range of different products so we double check our loss and weight calibration um, at least once a week and sometimes multiple times throughout that project, depending upon the changes and fluctuations in the loss and weight. So with that, Jordan, if you want to lead us off, we've got buckets set over here for the scale. Important step number one is to ensure all of your containing vessels are identical, both in terms of uh, size and weight. We've got the scale teared out and we're going to catch three one minute samples at a set speed on the feeder screen. Once we have those three samples and we fill up their, their valid numbers, I will then continue on and calculate our volumetric feed rate at that point. So we've got our three weights and we had one that was a little off. So normally if we if we do this, we have a 955, a 945, and a 925. So normally what we would do is we'd run a few more just to make we get sure we've got consistent numbers. Now with those numbers, Jordan, what do we do next? Pretty good. Now let's let's assume we have three good numbers. Well, we find out like how much weight it is per percentage. That's right. So with that, with that, we can then calculate what our expected screw factor is in a volumetric mode and use that to double check our gravimetric feed rate set points. That's what I meant to say. So with that, uh, thank you very much and y'all have a good day.